Today we are gonna talk about how to grow your Instagram following from zero to 10,000 followers in a year. Now it might sound overwhelming but I'm just here to tell you that it's possible because if you divide 10,000 by 12 months that's only 833 followers in a month and I totally think that's doable because I have grown my own brand to 20,000 followers and I've had it for around two years now so it's quite fulfilling for me. So by the way what I I'm gonna share you are actually organic strategies that help me build my own brand. I want to introduce myself. I'm Thea. I'm a social media marketer. So other than my own brand at Socials by Thea, you can hit me a follow. I also grow multiple brands from scratch. So these brands are e-commerce shops, some are personal brands, some are just fan accounts, like certain niche accounts. And we've grown these brands from scratch, from a couple of hundreds to thousands of followers. And today, I'm gonna share you what has worked for us on building these brands organically. Tip number one is to pick a certain niche and stick to it because you don't want to confuse your audience about what type of content you are putting out. You want your whole content to revolve a certain topic and that's the moment that you are gonna attract certain people who will come to your Instagram account. If ever you're thinking about maybe I should uh, combine my personal stuff to business stuff. Like for example, you're a business woman. You're showing to Instagram that you do this business stuff, you share business tips. You don't want to mix that with personal content. I mean, you can mix it, but just a little bit. Maybe one out of four posts would be your personal post, but focus more on sharing about business because you don't want to confuse your audience that Oh my god, I've been putting out business content. The next thing you know, I'm posting about motherhood. And I actually had experience with this when I'm handling some brands where the audience are really into journaling content. Then the next day, I'm posting about travel. So the followers actually drop that time. And it's because whenever you're posting irrelevant content to your audience, you're gonna lose followers from there, okay? So tip two is to be consistent with your content on a daily basis okay so there's a misconception that you can only post content through your feed posts which is super wrong you can always post content in your stories so every time you're not showing up on your feed you can replace your absent times on feed by posting on stories you can still be active every day or if you're tired posting feed posts you can share things on stories tip number three is to engage with your audience this is super valuable because you are trying to build your brand so the best thing that you can do is to be a nice person you can communicate through the comments or not just that but you can also use stories in stories they have these engagement stickers use and abuse those stickers okay like they have these polls wherein you can give two choices you can even ask a question you can even have that emoji bar where people can react because that boosts your engagement and it's so valuable to engage with your audience so that they feel like you are communicating with them even though if you're just a brand you want to make them feel that there is someone behind this brand or if ever you are a personal brand on instagram you want to make them feel that you're not this celebrity who's trying to snob anybody especially if you're starting from scratch you want to be like a best friend to your brand best friend to your audience so do not be a snob <laughs> keep commenting keep building relationships with people in the same industry or people who might like your content and even send them messages even if they ask questions tell stories all right number four fourth tip that i have is to collaborate so if ever you are trying to build this influencer brand you can collaborate with brands related to your own brand brands that you advocate and you can share your thoughts about famous brand like for example you love a certain product and you just shared your thoughts about it there's actually an opportunity for you to getting shared in their stories or on their feed and you're featured now you are exposed to a wider audience but what if you have this personal brand that's not 
an influencer type. You can always collaborate with people in the same industry. It can be either through a webinar or through an Instagram live or through a post. You can simply tag them. You can tag your friends that are in the same industry and you know just share about your insights okay. So other than that if you're growing and people would love to work with you you can also stick with sponsored posts or you can even do a giveaway for a certain brand. A lot of agencies do this wherein they ask influencers to collaborate with them in order to grow their following. It's actually a good idea wherein you can help people host a giveaway or if ever you know someone who is in the same industry in Instagram as you are you might want to collaborate with them and host a giveaway so that way you can gain traffic and you can also spread the word about that co-influencer about how amazing he or she is okay oh I also want to share since I'm pretty much in the business industry where I actually help business owners scale their business scale their marketing through social media so what I usually do is I often show up live on webinars so this doesn't have to be on Instagram we usually host lives on zoom but I strongly promote them on Instagram as well and even on Facebook so that way whenever you have this big traffic going on you now have people coming in you now have people seeing you and following you to see your content number five I just want to share about the hashtags always 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 use 30 hashtags there's a misconception that whenever you're using 30 hashtags it won't show up but that's not true if you're pretty much smart about using hashtags you can actually leverage from showing up to a hashtag that has 1,000 posts to until showing up to hashtags that has 20,000 posts to showing up to hashtags that has 50,000 posts and it goes on so it's like a ladder so over here I'm gonna share a breakdown of my hashtag strategy so I often use 30 hashtags and these hashtags are broken down into certain categories feel free to use that strategy you might blow up on Instagram it's gonna be fun because the moment you're showing up on hashtag is the moment that you can probably show up in explore more okay next captions there's a misconception in Instagram that you need to write short captions like you need to be the cool kid with those short aesthetic captions which is not true at all so when it comes to captions when it comes to writing your own captions do not be afraid to tell your stories because when people are actually going on instagram instagram actually counts the time a person spends on reading your post or on viewing your post so when instagram notices that for example i'm viewing this certain accounts post for a long time i'm reading it for a long time because it fascinates me the more that i'm telling the algorithm that i'm favoring this type of content okay so do not be afraid to speak on stories to tell your stories or even ask questions at the end of your caption you can ask something so that way you can interact through the comments. Tip number seven is to use the latest features of Instagram. So you want to make sure that you're utilizing the latest features because usually Instagram shows the type of content that is based on their latest features. Like for example, you're using Reels often and Instagram actually favors Reels right now or before when Reels wasn't out. IGTV was actually the highlight for everybody. On stories, use the stickers, use the features because yeah, Instagram really favors if it sees that you are using different features of the app okay and lastly number eight is to be yourself I know it, it's so cliche but as much as possible you might want to be authentic with your content you might want to be real because that way you are gonna attract the tribe that you are trying to attract in your own account and for your content do not overthink that oh I think my audience will not like this sometimes I used to have that feeling wherein I overthink my content until I just let go of that feeling and just post whatever I want as long as I'm very well aware that the content that I will put out will still resonate with my audience okay and I just want to put this out that growing your Instagram account is not an overnight success it really takes time on building one but as long as you have the patience to show up on a daily basis or even around three or four times a week I promise you it will really grow just show up show the value that your audience love either you are in the makeup or beauty it's like feeding a baby. <laughs> Think about your followers as your 
kids. That way, whenever you're feeding them good content, they're gonna love you and you're gonna grow from that, okay? Just keep putting your content out there. It might get frustrating at times, but keep showing up and one day people will see it and you will get those people coming in. You'll be surprised one day and asking yourself, why are there so many people coming in? And that's because initially, people don't see your content, but the moment you blow up, you keep growing, you keep showing up, they will go back to your previous content and engage with those, okay? So just put quality content always and keep being yourself, all right? Oh, and if I may add, maybe this is gonna be tip number nine is to always do your research. Just check your explore page on what's trending. These are the trending topics and check what type of content is really trending and you might want to do that too, okay? Just explore the captions, the visuals, and you might want to create content based from what is trending, okay? So yeah, uh, that's it for me. I hope that you were able to learn a lot because for me i have grown multiple brands organically just through these strategies it's no magic at all it's just mainly doing my research about trending topics creating it showing up on a daily basis trying to engage with people who might resonate with my brand and also collaborating with other brands and people who might help me grow all right i hope that you are able to learn something and if ever you want to implement this please let me know and I'd be glad to share your story and you know just keep in touch with me on Instagram usually I reply there thank you for watching that's it for me and maybe I'll see you on the next video I just I just don't know when but I'll see you when I see you all right bye